It's only April, but hurricane season will be around before you know it. And today, Colorado State University released its hurricane outlook. Yeah, researchers are expecting a more active than average Atlantic hurricane season. Meteorologist Chris Ramirez digging into the outlook. Chris, how many named storms are we expecting? Yeah, so we are expecting uh, with the uh, Colorado State University's outlook 17 named storms with nine of them being hurricanes and four of them being major hurricanes and that is an above average season, but not as high as what we saw last year for 2024 as we uh, look at that uh, 18 named storms. Hurricanes 11, major hurricanes at five. That was the third costliest on record as we go into looking at those inso phases is whether or not we are in La Nina or El Nino. And it all has to do with the equatorial Pacific and the sea surface temperatures. So when they are uh, lower than normal, usually we're in La Nina. When they are higher than normal, we're in El Nino. And then when they're about normal, we're in this thing called inso neutral. And so when we are in inso neutral, we're seeing that right now in the Pacific Ocean. And as we uh, look at the situation, we usually get lower wind shear in the Gulf and in the Caribbean. So therefore, when it comes to that, that usually that shear usually tears hurricanes apart. But when you don't have that shear, that usually uh, makes hurricanes a little bit above average and usually brings them into the Gulf of Mexico or Gulf of America as we head into the coming months. But looking at the peak of hurricane season, September 10th, that date that we're really going to have to keep an eye on as we head into the coming months. Of course, the first day of hurricane season is on June 1st. All right, Chris, thank you. And so